Good morning. I'm back at Laguna Golf and it seems like a lifetime since I was here last. It's 8 a.m. It's got to be 34, 35 degrees, 100 degrees Fahrenheit. There isn't as much shade here as Red Mountain, so this is going to be brutal. So the plan is to play a hole quickly and then rest on the next tee and cool down a bit and have a drink and make sure I drink enough today. I'm going to go to the range. Just a few tweaks. You know, in this heat, the computing power for aiming in the right direction and swinging properly is very much compromised. I'm sure you guys down in Florida and America where you've got incredible heat in the summer and humidity know exactly what I'm saying. And uh, the old UV umbrella is going to be in much use. Just waiting for my caddy to appear in my bag and then we're going to get over the range and put a club on the ground and make sure I'm aiming the correct way. I think I did okay here in the first round. Obviously I haven't done any editing so I, I don't actually know how well I did but it felt okay. Today's going to be a real test though. Well this round is a complete balls up because I'd completely forgotten that I played the blues last time. I got out of the golf cart after messing around, the caddy stood by the white tees with my driver and that's where I went from. And it kind of like messes up the whole round. I mean, I should be in the middle of the fairway here, not under the trees. The wind switched round 180 degrees as well, which made it more confusing. And all the way around, I couldn't figure out why the golf course was playing so different. Not quite, not quite. Oh, yeah, fast as Red Mountain. Fast or slow, you think? Fast as Red Mountain, yeah. Just about here. Yeah, left in, left out, left okay. In. Left yeah. in, left out, okay. Okay, nice and easy. Well, I'm a couple of clubs closer to the green here. I still don't like the look of that water. Well, I've hit it down the left. Now, I couldn't work out whether to chip or to putt this. I thought if I chipped, I couldn't stop it. And with the best will in the world, no matter how hard you try, sometimes you just get it completely wrong. So I'm pulling the same clubs as I did last time without realising that it's the wrong club. There's absolutely no way I should be hitting driver down here. It should have just been a three wood. But as I say, I was playing okay. on memory completely. 51's a bit awkward for me. I like it shorter or longer than that. Three wood would have been absolutely perfect. Maybe I could have got it a bit closer too. Little bit big. Ten. 
It's funny, playing all this golf day after day after day, are getting better and better. But you're upset with hitting a seven yeah. iron maybe, that far away from the flag. Maybe. <laughs> well, the first time I've actually looked at the card, looked at the hole properly, and I've pulled the three wood. And this takes me to exactly the same position as I was last time with the driver from the blue tees. Bit of a tight flag here. And that's basically a chicken out. No good. Not surprising really. I think this is the first time that I realised that something was wrong, but I still couldn't figure it out. Like that. Get over. Get over. Oh, oh, shit. Wow. oh Simon. I thought that was okay. The best way of describing how I'm feeling is just confused. You'd think that playing the golf course shorter Bad it would be there, easier, Not bad. but sometimes a golf course is set up so that the further back you play, the hazards are actually out of reach. And that's something I hope to prove the next time I go to Thailand by playing some further back tees. Now this is a par 5 by virtue of you having to carry water with your second shot. But I've leaked this one quite badly. Okay. I think this hole really was easier from the back tee. Now I was just in the edge of the water so I've taken a drop and I'm doing something very stupid. I'm trying to chase a score with a 5 wood. Fortunately that was so bad it's actually given me a chance. Yeah, it's on. Hold. In. In. Oh, slapped it. Fucking slapped it. What's that? Okay. Fucking <sighs> By God, wasn't that an old man's golf swing? Got a two ball in front and a four ball behind. Unfortunately, the two ball in front is playing slower than the four ball behind. This is going to be over four hours today. Which... Yeah, I just had to cut out all of the um, four letter words there about the pace of play in Thailand when it is baking hot. Now I don't mind slow play when the weather is cooler and you've got good cloud cover. But when you've got this bright sunshine, you really have to get on with it. Well I know that last time I wasn't right here in front of the lake. So I'm able to drive up onto the upper part of the fairway, whereas the first time I was on the lower part of the fairway. I like too! But at least this is sensible. I'm going with a five iron straight at the fairway bunker because I know that's where the width is. If I try to get a lot closer with a bigger club, you can see how it tightens down between that bunker and the next lot of water. So, 
It's always best to play a bit cautious. Rather than chasing the score like I did on the previous par 5. Oh, good. That was funny. Okay, I'll okay. see you at the cut. Yeah, I'll walk out over there. Yeah, that was funny. The, the two ball in front had just come off and the caddy is so keen to get to the 10th tee and play fast. She's driven past the green and I said, aren't we putting? And she went, oh, I forget. We gotta go, we gotta putting. <laughs> so, you know, it's not just me who gets frustrated. The caddies get frustrated at slow play too. And because they care about you, you know, they don't want you to be out here for too long. So, uh, yeah, when that two ball came off, she's just driven straight past the green. <laughs> oh, not my bad. It's okay. No well, the first time around, I had a 9 iron. Here I am with 65 yards. And I've hit this 65 yards. But the back of that green was rock hard, and off the back it went. Where I got the opportunity to play the golf shot of the tour. Got a par. Fuck me. You're gonna make me putt that, are you? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh up. Ah. Wow, what a shot! <laughs> when we got on this tee, this is the first time I realised fully I was playing the wrong tees. I should have been hitting over that lake from 60 yards back. And that was a 290 drive down the wind. See, this golf course has firm fairways, so I really should be playing it back. The drives around here don't tend to go splat. Oh well. Might as well carry on. Yeah, I needed more. I know the caddy is doing the right thing here by protecting me from this sun. And I am very grateful. But I find myself looking at the edge of the shadow rather than at the ball. And I don't know what to say. Yeah, I hit a six iron last time. Now I'm hitting a nine. Part of that is because the flag position has changed, but I'm just too far forward. Just on. Well, the grass down this bank is quite long, 
so it's held the ball up at a reasonable position but I've just completely misjudged how it's going to come out of it and that's far too long I could have done without a putt of this length for par Not hard enough. Yeah, I am absolutely cooked. So, there's a two ball coming come up behind me. You started on 10 and they're fresh and ready to go. So, best thing to do is to let them go and let me have five minutes here in this closed drink stop. So if all these drink stops were open, you know, if there was plenty of tourists and plenty of golfers out here, I'd stop here anyway. Just to have five minutes and try and cool off. So I'll let these two guys go. Then we'll get back to it and see if we can finish off this, this round of golf. I'm making bad decisions, bad swings. So last hole, I should have hit three wood. So the first time I played it, it was into the wind. Now it's downwind. It was three wood all day, but you, you just make bad decisions because your brain is cooked. Oh. I think it's a par five next, so we'll, we'll try for a bird. But I don't think I'll get one. I, I just don't have the mental or physical energy to do it. Hopefully we get some cloud cover tomorrow. So, uh, till we get to 18, I'll shut up and attempt to play golf. Well this time around I don't have to play out to the right of these bunkers, I can just go straight over the top. Big one. That's a big drive. Wind is off the right. I'm on an upslope. I'm going to sling this one on the wind and that's left. just a okay. bit of a hook really. Is there nam there? No nam. Okay. No nam, no head nam. Oh, oh too much, man. I thinned it. Yeah. I thinned it. Fortunately the old short game it's keeping the score ticking over. Not bad, not bad at all. In. Uh. Uh. Yeah. Well this far forward it just doesn't feel like stroke index one. With absolutely no pressure, we bust the gut and get it down there. And this is a lot easier than the hybrid I had to hit last time. I mean, just an eight. That shows how far forward I'm playing and how the wind has changed. But I'm just starting to lose the swing a little bit, and I, I put it down to the heat. It's pretty damned hot out here now. Power of one. Ha, helicopter one. Thank you. Oh, a little right. Oh, the wind yeah. got it. The wind got it. It's okay. It's all water. Yeah. Well, the wind is getting up. 
and this is making the golf course a lot more difficult. Now when we get down here, check out the bunkers. The birds burrow into the bunkers for their nests. Just in the top lip there you can see the holes. And one reason why I don't like spikeless shoes is coming right up. I'm not going to say anything about my putting on that last green. I'm just going to blame it on the weather. Oh, Cheerio. Long way right. Sure. I didn't hit it very well again. Into the grain is just bloody stuff. Okay. 